Hello everyone, <coughs> welcome you to the class. In the previous class, we have already studied about the benefits of the cloud and we have also seen the characteristics of the cloud. Based on these benefits and the, uh, the characteristics, now we have seen that what all the services it can be provided by the cloud. It can be in terms of the resources, it can be in terms of the software, it can be in terms of the platform. So as these all benefits have been there, so they have been categorized this cloud into three service models based on the service that I request. The first one is infrastructure, the second one is platform and the third one is the software. In simple terms, I have to explain for you people is infrastructure, I am requesting for a particular resource, I hire that resource and I am doing the work. For example is the Ola cabs you people have seen that or any cab services where you are renting the car for a particular time you pay the money and you are again uh, leaving the cab okay like that it is being used so the car is providing you the service so that is an infrastructure which is providing you a service from where you want to go from one particular place to the another particular place where you are not in a situation to buy a new car the second one is the platform the platform is where it is providing you to develop an applications where you are unable to buy anything for example is that when you want to buy a licensed software is a very difficult so instead of that i take the services from the cloud who gives me all the setup to uh, to develop an applications and i am giving the i am paying for that one and then again i am giving back the uh, resources to the cloud and the third one is the software it is providing me the software that i require as per my needs i require for example is your play store based on your need there are so many softwares available where you install it and when you don't want to have any more services of that one you are just uninstalling right so like this there are so many applications or the softwares available so no need for you to pay and uh, buy any software so use that one and you are going to give back the uh, resource again to the cloud so let us study that one in detail the first one is infrastructure as a service in short called as IaaS okay in this one diagram you can see that the cloud here the completely cloud has been there and you can see there are the provider resources who is providing us the resource and the consumer which already he is having for example he is having the application he is having the database also and he is having the operating system but to run any database or operating system we need the platform we need the infrastructure for example i need uh, the computers to run that one to install the operating system or i need the storage devices i need the networking devices so the provider is providing us related to the storage the network and the compute where the consumer may be unable to buy the storage devices which might be costing more right so he may avoid that one he is using the help of the cloud example is your amazon elastic compute cloud okay it is been providing the capacity and even also on demand the services that you have been requesting and this infrastructure is the basic layer right and it has been the ba the foundation for the platform and also the uh, software the next one is the next one is a platform as a service uh, as we know that platform is uh, the where the applications are being developed it can be any sort of an applications related to the java it can be there or c it can be there or c plus plus it can be there or even related to the designing of any application it can be there or the cad services it can be there right these all uh, platforms or i can say these all the softwares they need a particular uh, environment to be installed related to it can be the operating system it can be related to the configurations of the system so these all need the particular setup 
now as the user may have it or may not may not have it so instead of that one to buy each and everything and uh, then install it and then set up and then develop an uh, application instead of that here the consumer is going to request for the cloud to provide all the services that are been needed to develop any application so you can check in this uh, diagram where the consumer is only just developing an application but the resources related to the database what operating system is needed what the compute re resources are needed the storage and the network so these are all being provided by the providers based on the need of the consumer so the best example is the azure platform where we are looking into the big data uh, to develop any applications related to that so it consumes a lot of time to install to develop an application so the cloud is just providing you the platform you are going to develop and you are going to uh, develop the various applications and you are going to deploy them moving on to the next one is a software as a service in the software as a service there are the various softwares available uh, it may be a customized software or it may be a general software now when i go for a customized software uh, the consumer have to pay a lot of money for the developer so instead of that one there are the various free resource softwares which are been providing the services for example is that uh, in case you want to uh, have a particular compiler for your own programs it is very difficult but already the various programs are available in the play stores you just have to download it you have to execute it your programs and then give it back here uh, here also you can see that uh, for example the another example is the salesforce.com and emc mozi these are the best examples for the uh, softwares where they are providing the customer relationship management where there is no need for anyone to sit and uh, develop an application the software as it is been needed so it has been providing the services and it is been utilized by n number of the people and uh, related to the software it has not been differentiating between any kind uh, it it has been access, accessible for for any uh, person it can be uh, from the web browser or it can be even from the mobiles also uh, so in short if i have to explain for you people is related to the platform the software and the infrastructure is that uh, the infrastructure is acting as a base layer uh, so if I have to draw here the infrastructure is acting as a base on which the platforms you are installing it and on this platform the softwares are being installed and it is providing you the service. So if you want the software already you need to have the infrastructure and the platform if in case you are if you want to develop any particular software then you have to install the platform so based on the need of the consumer it is been uh, the services have been provided